So I wanted to start going through and basically re-reviewing a lot of the newer versions of iOS you know, especially on iOS 16 on the older iPhones by the time iOS 17 comes out, because when the next version comes out, we will kind of pretty much start focusing on that. And I want to kind of leave iOS 16 on a good note. I think it was a pretty solid update. A real quick thing though, never install a beta on your personal iPhone. If you have a side iPhone, this iPhone 10 is a very side iPhone. It's like my old, old, old iPhone. This is a good iPhone to install it on. Do not install it on the latest iPhone that you use, in this case, my 13 Pro, because that is probably going to cause more issues than good, and it's never worth installing it. It's not even going to be a good experience. Now, 16.5 and 16.6 are the latest versions of iOS 16 right now. I think by the time iOS 17 comes out, probably two weeks, three weeks after, we're probably going to get iOS 16.6. So there are still lots of iOS 16 updates that are going to be available on the iPhone 10. Now, there's a chance iOS 17 will not come on the iPhone 10. Who knows? But so far, 16.5 has been pretty solid, and so is 16.6. I installed 16.6 on another iPhone 10 that I have, and it's been a pretty good experience too. This one luckily is still on 16.5. I didn't update it yet to 16.6, but in both versions of software, it has been very solid. I haven't really ran into too many issues, no major big issues. It's still exactly the same thing as I was expecting. However, some people have been complaining about some battery life issues that they were having on their iPhone. So I'm not too sure. I ex personally haven't experienced it at a high level, but I don't use this iPhone on an everyday basis. So that could be a big problem. But some people were stating that their battery life is not that great on iOS 16, at least 16.5. 16.6, that beta may be a little bit better, but that would be another thing to kind of keep in mind. And another reason to never install a beta, just battery issues and all those things across the board, it can cause more issues than good. And you are much better off not installing that beta and avoiding it rather than installing you know, a beta and then getting tons of issues that way. Now on top of that, right now, I, so that's kind of where iOS 16 is right now. Still pretty solid on the iPhone 10. I'm actually really happy with the way Apple's kind of been updating this thing. They've been kind of slow at updates, but for the most part, it was a pretty decent experience. But I will say, if we take a look at the map in which Apple's going to be releasing the next couple of iOS updates, right now it's May 31st. WWDC is literally June 5th, which is like five days away. That is gonna be pretty insane. Now, it's going to be in a beta from June 5th all the way up until pretty much September. So June 5th up until September, we are going to be, there's going to be tons of updates, amazing amount of changes, and it's going to be pretty much a different version of software by the time September comes around. I would recommend installing it if the iPhone 10 gets it. I would probably recommend installing it late October or early November at the very earliest. If you install a 17.0 when it officially comes out, it's just not worth doing. You'd probably be better off installing it here or at least install it two versions of software after. So 17 comes out and then right after we get like 17.1 here or 17.0.1 here and then 17.02 here, then install 17.02 here. That might work out well too. But in terms of that, that's pretty much how it's done for the most part. And that's how the iPhone 10 has held up so far on this version of software. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.